Did you know that any two individuals, no matter how different they may look, share about 99.9% .9 of their DNA? And that this 0.1% difference explains all the physical traits between us, such as our height, skin color, but also our susceptibility to diseases and how we respond to treatments? Did you also know that we all descend from a single cell, the fertilized egg, which then gives rise to hundreds of different cell types with unique functions? For instance, the cells in our heart work very differently from the cells in our blood, liver or eyes, yet they all descend from the same mother cell and share the same genetic material. How can they have the same DNA and same set of genes yet be so different? How do they know which genes to switch on and off from the 21,000 genes available so they become who they are? My name is Maya Gusaini and I'm a cancer geneticist and course director for the undergraduate certificate of genetics at the University of Cambridge. The main focus of my research is to study the genetic basis of cancer and understand how and why errors in our DNA can increase the risk of cancer. In this course, we will look at how scientists grow normal and cancer cells in the lab and edit the DNA to incorporate genetic changes found in cancer patients. Then study the effect of these changes on cell behavior and aggressiveness. In the first part of this course, we will explore why are we more likely to resemble our parents and siblings and how genetic material, DNA, is transmitted from generation to generation. We will talk about genes, how they provide instructions for the maintenance and development of our body, what can go wrong, and the implications of these errors in human diseases. We will also cover how they can be manipulated in the lab and examine the benefits, but also the dangers associated with this. In the second part, we will explore many research areas that followed on from the Human Genome Projects and how they transformed our understanding of the genetic basis of human diseases and medical practices. We will discuss the implications for healthcare through screening programs, early diagnosis, and personalized treatments, and the profound ethical, social, and legal issues they raised. For instance, is it acceptable to use genetic testing to detect severe disorders without cure? What are the ethical issues surrounding the manipulation of genes to improve traits such as intelligence, beauty, sports ability, and resistance to disease? Or large-scale screening for babies still in the uterus for disease markers? On a legal and social level, who has the right to own the information? We will then move to cancer genetics and genomics, which is the focus of my research. We will explore the triggers that cause a normal cell to suddenly become cancerous and invade other tissues. How does cancer spread? And can we use this information to help treat cancer patients? We will then explore the fundamentals of epigenetics and its crucial role in health and disease. And why is it that identical twins become increasingly different over time despite the fact that they share the same DNA. The final part of the course will cover evolution and the supporting scientific evidence. We will also discuss stem cell research and its use in curing human diseases. We will also discuss the use of animal models to study human diseases and how it became possible to clone organisms. For example, would it be ethical to recreate an extinct species? How was Dolly the sheep generated and what went wrong? The course also covers the controversial topic of genetically modified organisms. Genetically modified plants can reduce the need to use some chemicals in food production, increase nutritional value, but what are the long-term ecological implications? Should consumers have the right to know what's in their food? From basic concepts to insights from cutting-edge research, this course will enable you to move into the genetics field with confidence. You'll build on this knowledge by discussing the implication 
of these advances in the class and during practicals. Join me to explore how these genetic changes and advances are likely to affect our life and health.